Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm coming here from this guy. This we put so the wars over everyone, and we got ceasefire. But they, what they're doing is they're hopping out the alliance. They send attacks on us, and then they jump back in the alliance. And then before the attack lands, what they do is they he's jumping back out of the alliance, so it doesn't land. So the attack doesn't land. So so the attack does land. So basically he he dropped out of his alliance, which we're pacted with, to send the attack on this guy. And then before the attack lands, he jumps out of his alliance, so it doesn't bounce, and the attack lands and um and he attacks him. So this is this is an example here. Um but luckily we knew what this guy was doing, so we supported and we had it all under control um, this is a stupid ceasefire to be honest I mean, I mean they can't they can't arrange a ceasefire and stick to it which just shows you how untrustworthy they are but yeah anyway no the matters I'm first in butte ahead of this guy because he's terrible I'm amazing um, <laughs> and attacking these lion camps I've just been attacking bear camps but now I've, I'm attacking lion camps going back on the other side See if I can get top 50 both sides, um, which only the amazing players can do, like myself. So, so it's happening. Um, so yeah, the wall's over basically, but at this rate, it's probably going to start again soon. I mean, no one wants it to start except for the separatists. Um, I mean, Alx, the alchemists, they want peace. Stormcloaks want peace. Overlords and Dark and Deadly, all of them, they all want peace. Except for the separatists who want war. I'm um, not sure why they want war, but they just do. Um, but hey, tyrants will remain tyrants. And I guess that is how they play. Um, but I guess everyone has different play styles. Some encourage fair play, others do not. I much prefer events, but I can do PvP as well. Have proven that. Um, and also guys, I captured this outpost four days ago. This outpost is a six feet, but it's in a good location and it's already at 9,000 food production. So here, 9,200 food production. Public orders rubbish, haven't got all that yet. Um, I bought some of these cheap samurai decos. Um, we'll sell them once I've got better decorative, decorative items like this one, 285. Um, which yeah, I've got I've got six granaries. These here make hundred percent workload. These here make less seventy five. You know, go down here. I have also got farms here. Um, I put base foods um, on these base foods here, and then these I put um, the two hundred food item ones, and I put two hundred on these, and we're gonna get two hundred for these ones as well because you can have max 15 I was going to build granaries but I just built farmhouses because the granaries are making like rubbish rubbish food per hour at that point um, but yeah I'm getting there eventually for my food production and I can feed quite a lot of vendors and attackers and now that it's peace time um, can defend, we can obviously um, do a lot more um, events such as bear in mind which i actually really like this event um a lot of people don't like it but that's because they're not good at it i'm pretty good at it um you can do it you can do it without spending pretty easily um you just need loads of troops because the losses are crazy and pretty huge losses um on that just noticed that my um tax have been 16 dummy peasants and that um, 17. I've just switched to dummy peasants now because I'm running low on magnets and thought might as well uh, to increase speed because we're running out of time, 10 hours left. And I've got the 50k now, so I'm rank 5. Um, I got just over 50k and now I'm switching back to uh, this side and I'm going to try and get to top 100 this time side and top 50 this side. And maybe if I've got enough magnets, I'll go for top 50 and both. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, it's just been updating my account and the bear in mind the event and the war. The war is over, so I guess that's good. Um, there is a ceasefire, 
in place. Um, hopefully the separatists will stick to it because at the moment they are not. But we'll see. But anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.